Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, insertion sort. As you know, there is a different kind of sorting like insertion sort, bubble sort, and uh, quick sort, mod sort. So this is insertion sort, and this is the best way and quickest way to sort a certain array. So here I have uh, taken this is the index of the array, and this is the array uh, which consists of seven elements in an unsorted position. So for this, what we will do, we will just run an iteration which will start from 1 and it will go until 6. We don't need to start from 0 because we always compare two elements backward. Say, when first we compare 1 and 0, then 2 and 1. So what happens in insertion sort? In insertion sort, we, we, when we start from 1, we compare 1 and 0th element and if the zeroth element is greater than 1 we swap it then we go to the next iteration equal to 2 then we compare the second with the first element and if the first element is greater than 2 we swap it and put the greatest element to the second the, the, that current position and this goes on because uh, after if uh, when we swap this again we compare uh, first element with the zeroth element so let us just check what happens see first it is 8 to 6 1 9 5 3 all the elements value now when we check first with the uh, one with the zeroth element 8 is obviously greater than 2 we swap it we and it becomes 2 comma 8 in the uh, next position what we do we compare second with the first element obviously 8 is as we see 8 is greater than 6 so, so we, we swap it and put 6 on the left and just put the 8 on the right side. And then next we compare 0 with uh, zero element, first element with the 0th element as it is already sorted. Okay, because 0th element is less than first element, so no swapping is required. So next we do go to the third position. This is the third position and we see what is in the third position third position previous state is one so one is obviously eight is obviously greater than all one so we swap it and bring just uh, i'll show you the step how it happens just look in the step what happens this is the uh, originally it is this then what happens after the third position swap it becomes one and eight then what happens 6 is greater than 1 obviously it becomes 1 and 6 next 2 is greater than 1 so it becomes 1 and 2 so see how it is being continuously sorted ok starting from the third position i equal to 3 uh, it's, it started it comes until 0 so this also happens in the fourth case also you just uh, take this one this is initially when we started i equal to 4 ok so i equal to 4 8 is greater than 9 no see it is already sorted 6 is greater than 8 no 2 is greater than 6 no 1 is greater than 2 no so it is already swapped uh, already in sorted position no swapping is required here so now let us go to the next position i equal to 5 so in i equal to 5 what happens 9 is greater than 5 yes what we do swap it next 8 is greater than 5 yes swap it just bring it is in its appropriate position insert it in its appropriate position that is why it is known as insertion sort 6 is greater than 5 yes so it is done so see, in the same way, I'm, uh, it's uh, going to take a whole lot of time. I'm not going to show you the last one. It will just tell you, 3 will go step by step. It will go in the place of 9, and then in the place of 8, then in the place of 6. And it will just be positioned in here, in the place of after 2. So this is the logic. And now we will just begin the programming. So let us start with take one header file 
stdio.h okay let's uh, okay we just will now take some prototype uh, we start our uh, sorry our wide main just we create our scope and just declare some signature generate array okay so parameters are int array uh, array type and int which is size will give the size and again copy paste this one generate array and insertion sort is another function with the same parameter and the last one is print array okay so we will generate actually what happens see if you uh, take user input uh, continuously to fill up the array it, it will take a hell lot of time and the program will, video will be too lengthy so I'll generate a ran some random number and just uh, assign it to the array and for the array size I take a variable as size and for array I will take a dynamic pointer in star ARR okay which I will be uh, allocate dynamically uh, after taking input of size so printf I will take one just such uh, just one user input as enter size of the array I will use scan function to take a integer input and it will be assigned stored in size now I will just or create a dynamic memory use the malloc function and put the size inside because uh, when you declare a uh, declaring array you cannot put any put any dynamic variable as a size you have to put a constant size so to, to make it dynamic uh, you have to use the malloc function or and assign it to a pointer so what will happen it will allocate a memory of size of size amount and it will be, the address of the array will be the memory starting memory will be allocated to ARR so calling the first generate array and pass ARR and size in the same way I'll just print the array before sorting and then insertion sort then again print the array after sorting so put again ch okay because I'll run this program in the compiler and uh, it will go to the console mode and come back and into the compiler to hold it in the console mode I'll just put a get ch to show you the output the first one I'll just copy this one I'll not again and again write if the same thing so just putting the variable name uh, keeping it size and keeping it say a uh, a will be okay so generate array so taking a variable as counter as i for uh, i equal to 1 i less than equals to size uh, no not 1 I will start it from 0 because array index starts from 0 i plus plus now what will I do a i equal to array in the rnd is a random function percent hundred plus one uh, so just uh, explaining the logic explaining you the logic uh, let us remove this comment one okay uh, uh, what, uh, what, uh, just a moment so I hope you can read this one this is a rand, random number generated person 100 what will happen when you make person 100 so it will return the remainder and the remainder of a modulus of 100 is always from 0 to 99 okay so I want to keep the element value 
less than or equal to 100 and since the maximum value of a 100 modulus is 99 I just put a plus one so that 100 element if we can put a 100 value of element so this way we store uh, the value in the array this is completed again we giving it name a and now we will start our insertion sort we need two variable one is int i and another j so I'll start for i equal to 1 as I show you it will start from 1 i less than size less than equal to size and pardon no what will less than size I suppose plus plus for j equal to i j greater than 0 and a j a j minus 1 left element if greater than right element as I shown you j minus minus starting from j position i -th position j equal to i and coming until j equal to 1 so what we will do we will just swap the I will take a variable temp to say this is for swap logic if you know the swap logic otherwise get to some t help in that uh, online to, to get the swap logic it's not explainable now so keeping it in temp variable the aj minus one the left element and now I will just put the right element into the left element now you can understand if we don't hold the value of aj minus one into temp TMP then it will, the value will be lost when I assign AJ into AJ minus 1 now now I got the AJ minus 1 value in the TMP and I uh, can presently assign it to AJ so swapping has been done now see what happens this until this condition is true this loop always run until the left element is greater than the right element the swapping goes on as soon as it's find uh, one element which is not greater than the right element left element then it goes out of the loop and they just go to the outer loop okay let us check the with the logic again so what happens we started from 0 and 1 and go to until 6 because there is a 7 element but we run until 6 okay so that's okay it's less than size not less than equals to size not 7 it's 6 if we put the si uh, size of the element as 6 uh, I mean but 7 now we start the printing again we are declare a variable i and for i equal to 0 i equal to yes 0 i less than size i plus plus and just put our simple printf person d put a comma to separate the element and a i it's done uh, I'll put another statement here that is list of elements okay so I'm done with it I'll save it in Excuse me. C T C bin insertion insert insert S R T. Just will try to keep the val number of file name character in S S R T dot c i n s s r t dot c so saving it and let's move to our command prompt and open t c i n s s s r t dot c i don't know yes it's there so let's compile it ah there is some error okay this is some spelling mistake has include one parameter missing okay 
just missed out some element one parameter is missing a okay it's done let's save it and it will also be synchronized in notepad plus plus and run it what element 7 sort it yes yes it's sort it so let's try with some other values a long value of say 30 element just check it it's sorted yes it's sorted so this is insertion sort it is very interesting it's very powerful and very fast to work with uh, so just go through the logic and don't care about the header file c is very have its own built library and don't uh, it's already include all the headers inside so i'm just by practice I uh, given hashing to the studio dot but you can if you perform this in a C plus plus a better compiler have to include some header files like uh, forget ch you add corner dot h for malloc you like uh, okay, include alloc dot h there are some header files for random I think it's I don't remember right right now it is stdlib dot h so this is all about insertion sorting I hope you understand or like this video if you have any query have any doubt with this you can do comment on my video um, i'll instantly reply to you and if you like the video do like press the like button also you can subscribe to my channel to cbhro1976 thank you very much